Higher ed has become a real industry in our region. With 35 colleges and universities in just the 10 counties of southwestern Pennsylvania, we're home to the sixth highest concentration of college students in the country as a percentage of our population. And the sector employs almost 40,000 people. Uh, the se sector does prepare the workforce, it powers innovation, and often provides civic leadership across our region, as well as in the communities the colleges and universities call home. Well, new leaders have taken the helm of three local universities. Dr. David Feingold is president of Chatham University. Dr. Christopher Howard is president of Robert Morris University. And Dr. Andrew Egan is chancellor and chief academic officer of Penn State Greater Allegheny. And welcome, good to have you all here. Thank Great you, to be here. thanks Bill. Yeah, and you're all, you're all new to the region too, which is kind of cool. So I definitely want to ask, uh, I'll probably ask each of you sort of what brought you here, not just to the institution, but uh, to what attracted you to our region. David, I'll start with you. Sure, well, I mean, first and foremost, it was the job. I thought Chatham was a, a great opportunity, but as I learned more about Pittsburgh, I was delighted to find it. It met my wife's criteria. She's from Britain, <laughs> and her, her, her criteria was, you can't take any jobs where people won't want to come visit us. And, you know, I think Pittsburgh They want to come visit you in Pittsburgh. Example. That's good to hear. You know, we've yeah. been fighting and, and for that we, for the last 25 years. And we, years. we've had a bunch in this first six months, and it's been great, and we, we're really loving taking advantage of, of all of the great cultural, sports, other opportunities. Opportunities Pittsburgh has to offer so that plus you know really exciting opportunities in the university were, were the two big big attractions. Yeah, and, and where were you before? I was uh, at Rutgers for 10 years um, okay. uh, in New Jersey so not moving too far away and had been on leave for the last three years before that at a startup called American Honors where we were building a national network connecting community colleges to top public and private four-year institutions. No, really cool I want to come back to some of this dynamic of how this whole system can, can sure. work more effectively but Dr. Howard, how about you? Uh, what brought you to, uh, to Robert Morris, and, and, and uh, how's it going here in our region so oh, far? Oh, sure. Uh, I came for the weather. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. As, as, as does everyone. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, 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 I uh, like uh, David saying, first and foremost, the institution, Robert Morris, is a vibrant place on the move and uh, exciting uh, success in these last several years. Uh, but also, there's a vibrancy in Pittsburgh. Uh, there's a sense of there's something cool or interesting happening in that space, in that place that you want to be a part of. Technology, innovation, food, <laughs> sports culture. Uh, so that all uh, was the uh, icing on the cake, as it were, combined with a great institution, with a real, um, a real great opportunity to move forward. So that all kind of came together, and, and, and plus, uh, you know, my wife likes it as well. So that's the most okay. important. Well, thing. that's uh, as they say, happy <laughs> wife, <laughs> Dr. Egan. How about you? <laughs> okay, thanks, Bill. Yeah, I'd answer it a couple of ways. Um, I'm a graduate of Penn State University, so it's good to join the Penn State family again, as an alum. My wife is from Allegheny County, so that was a a compelling reason to be here and, and really a belief in what we're trying to do at Greater Allegheny and the region that we serve in the upper sort of industrial and post-industrial Mon Valley. I think uh, Greater Allegheny really takes seriously its, its uh, commitment to community engagement and really being a partner in, in the region and, and working with folks around economic development and diversity issues as well as academic issues. So it's a, it's a really good place and a good fit for me right now. Yeah, and, uh, Robert Marsh, you think about that, it's been a real, it's really blossomed over the last several decades, but big new announcement just this past week with a, with a new event center too. Yeah, we're very excited. It's been a long time in coming. Uh, we're happy to announce the UPMC Event Center and the People's Court, which will house uh, not only our men's and women's basketball programs and our vo women's volleyball team, but it'll be a great place for the entire community. It'll be a conference center space. In addition, we're building a student recreation center uh, just off uh, a little bit of ways from the actual event center that will serve faculty, staff, and students. So it's again, it's another indication as we grow in our national stature and become great uh, sort of contributors and partners, especially in Western Pittsburgh, uh, but also Pittsburgh in general. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Chatham obviously took a big plunge and, and, and went uh, co-educational at the undergraduate level over the past year or so. How has that been going? It's been going great. Uh, so we, this is our second year uh, fall uh, of being co-ed and we've grown by 45% over these first two years. And so unlike a lot of our peers where, you know, with some of the shrinking in high school graduates, we're having the other problem. We're wondering where the students are going to sleep in a couple of years as we're looking for new growth. And what's been really exciting about it, given our historical commitment and to, to women's leadership, is we've attracted men for the first time, but we're actually getting more women, more highly qualified women. And so the academic standards are going up, retention has gone up, as well as getting more students to come. So we're really excited about 
you know, what, what it has for the future. Well, that's exciting, too, to hear about applications and enrollment. So when we come back, I want to pick up on that and see what the three of you are seeing in terms of the, the market you have out there in terms of young people to, to get a higher education. So we'll be back in uh, just a moment with the presidents, the relatively new presidents of the <laughs> local universities. Stay with us.